this, I'm not going to bore you with taking the bucket off, but uh, what I want to show today is how easy it is to pin this rig, this plow frame push bar that I built. Uh, how easy it is to put together and adjust, and it's a real cheap solution to what could be a very expensive proposition. So, give me a few minutes, I'm going to go drop this bucket, and that'll be the next part of the video. Is I'm going to show you how this pin system, this quick detach system, works. Uh, a do it yourself kit, basically. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> one thing I want to discuss before we change the bucket off is this is the attachment for the bucket. That's how it's fabricated, that's the factory, and it's a set of one inch pins at these two points. If you look, I've got the bucket facing flat. And what I did when I built the push plate was I replicated these two attachment points on the bucket. So there's actually four of them, they're spread out. <clears throat> the ram on the bucket has a good four inch gap between the two plates. Now, what I did was I just figured out where my ram would be on this, and I just torched it out. So, what you want to do is, when you install this, you got to figure there's a height difference between your plow at its low point. So what you want is this line to be level off the ground with this skid right here. We'll get into that. There's a reason for that. When I plow, I can plow on the skid and do a gravel driveway and do no damage. When most people have a skid like this, or a push plate, when they want to get the cutting edge down on the ground, they basically drop this whole assembly, take it off, and that allows them to get their blade down. I don't do that. Um, you can't do one thing with a plow truck that you can do with a tractor, and that is you can lift your bucket and angle this whole rig so that these skids aren't in contact with the ground, just the blade is. So if I'm doing next door, they've got an asphalt driveway, uh, all I do is tilt my bucket forward because because of the way the you know the, the ram works and the push plate assembly. I get the skids out of the way and I'm on my blade. And then I, there's no taking these on and off for the winter. They stay on all winter. Um, never had a problem. So when you design yours, I would suggest highly suggest that you model it off of your bucket mount and. A simple, you know, a couple of pieces of heavy gauge angle iron and just use the original attachment points for the angle bar on the, or angle adjust, I should say, on your plow, and you're good to go. It's a really simple system. So I'm going to go get rid of this and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how this pin system that I came up with works. There's four pins. This thing goes on relatively easy and uh, it's set for the winter. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. Here we go. So Tractor Supply is your friend. All these parts come from Tractor Supply. This is a one inch hitch pin and set of hardened washers. And basically, the way I do this, let me pull it apart. Yeah. Is I just insert this through these points. The way I have this set up is I need to stand it off so that this stays tight. So this, it's a balancing thing of basically, you know, where you set your washes where you set your pen and so let me get it set up and I'll show you how it goes together. Okay guys so all the pins are in it's a real simple process all I do is run my bottom into position on both sides so I've got it lined up it's real easy to do it's just a little bit of wiggling back and forth up and down with you know the rams 
and once it's in position, um, <laughs> and I, I pin the bottom two and then the top two. So I'm going to take this one off because it shows you the components. And we'll do this one. And here we go, we're free. So this one has an extra washer on this side and one less on that side just because it's a little tight where I cut it out. But other than that, they're all the same. The pen basically um, inserts through everything all the way. And so that one inch pin is now in the one inch RAM um, receiver. So very simple process. All I do is I line things up. So I've got those four washers on. I pull this back so it's kind of flush with the last washer. Try to hold it there. Get the RAM up in place. Okay, so now I've got those four in. The other side, same thing. I'm going to slide these two puppies up. Good to have a hammer, but I'm trying to show you that it can be done without one, I guess, for no particular reason. Hopefully I'm lined up. I am. Okay, I'm through. This is just a spacer because the pen's too long. And uh, I put it on the other side. It works out that it's exactly good for the cotter pen. Add the cotter pen. I gotta spin this a little bit to do it. We're pinned. That process times four mounts this. And you can see it doesn't take very long. Um, maybe, you know, start to finish five minutes. And it's a nice solid, you know, attachment. I'm gonna fire her up. We're gonna spin things around a little bit for you. And I'll probably have to voice over so. <laughs> Because the track is pretty loud, and a lot of times uh, I lose out on audio. So we'll see how it goes. But here we go, we're going to fire her up. So basically, I've got a bunch of holes drilled in this that allows me to go to different points and position my plow angle. As you can see, I'm still beyond my rear tires, which is, you know. You really want to have like 18 inches wider on the plow width on each side or you're just going to be running over your own stuff. So, get in here. And down. Okay, so pretty simple rig. And of course the tilt function, we can show you that real quick. Thank you.